Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon series right here on Mistletine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. And you found yourself here. Hey, you may be noticing that there is some new audio quality going on. That, my friends, is because I got a brand new microphone with a Go XLR mixer and all this other stuff. And this is the first time that I'll actually be editing and working with uh, this sound system. So uh, bear with me if there's any technical issues or audio issues with this episode. I don't think there will be. I think we're looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Thank you guys for being here and watching this video. In the last episode of The Legend of Dragoon, we tackled the Shrine of Shirley in its entirety, meaning that we got a new Dragoon spirit, the spirit of the Silver Dragoon, which you can see right there at the bottom next to our Ds, our Dragon Souls, if you will. Looks like we have four now, which is interesting because we also seem to have four people in our party. Huh. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to head back to Lohan and give, uh, see if we can cure Shayna of her poison from Fairbrand. So to do that, we have to head back to the, the nest of dragon, the dragon's nest, the nest of... You know what I'm talking about. We got to head all the way back through here, uh, which is totally fine. It's not that big of a deal. We'll just get into some random encounters, but we'll be able to pretty easily beat them up and, and move on. This episode, guys, is going to be super cool. Uh, I'm very excited to get going with the Legend of Dragoon. You know, this is also a wonderful opportunity to say that, in case you don't know, I stream almost every day over on twitch.tv slash online, which is where most of my time goes. So if you guys are into, uh, oh, I messed that up. If you guys are into Final Fantasy series or anything like that, we are actually streaming every Final Fantasy game starting at one uh, and just going through. We are currently on three at the moment, uh, trying to wrap it up actually. So hopefully I'll see you guys over on Twitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna cancel it. I'm gonna skip this battle. I'm telling you, I am so bad with Lavitz's. Oh, hey, we got a level up on Rose for her Dragoon level. She is now level three, and she now knows Demon's Gate. New magic. Super cool. So only Lavitz is level two now, Dragoon. Anyways, I am so bad at Lavitz's uh, 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 additions. It's, it's, oh, it's just horrendous. Anyways, let's proceed through the nest. We can get through here, my friends. Guaranteed. Uh, I have, I have faith in us, uh, I hope. We have to go all the way down here too, though. Oh, so annoying. But the cool thing about jumping down here and dealing with this part is that we can actually go ahead and drink out of the, the well here and get that, that nice fresh water, healing ourselves all the way back up. And we'll continue all the way back to where we fought Fairbrand and Grimm all those episodes ago. Actually, it wasn't that many episodes ago if you're following, if you're like watching these like once they're all out but it's been months since it's been months since we did that my bad team my bad my hope is to actually finish this before the entire uh series before june i think we'll be okay with that we also have kingdom hearts 3 critical mode starting pretty darn soon so if it hasn't already all right so we found our way out of the dragon's nest the nest of dragon the dragons the the and now we want to head all the way over here to Lohan, the commercial town of Lohan. Let's go ahead and enter. Guys, we're about to see if this is going to work. We are approaching the end of disc one, my friends. We have very few episodes left of disc one. So let's just continue. There's nothing that we can really get here in town. There is some things that we could buy that I would recommend buying right now. Don't forget that there is something that costs 10,000 gold so that we could potentially buy, uh, but we're not going to worry about it too much. So I'm actually going to come down here to the item shop real quick, and I'm going to talk to them. Owner of item shop. Uh, yes, I do want to buy something. So right now, there are some things that I really want to buy for something that is coming up, and that is Spinning Gale. Uh, I can buy at least two of those. I'm actually going to see if I can sell some stuff real quick. Okay. So I ended up selling a bunch of stuff, including an attack ball, which is kind of useless at this point. Uh, not knowing what you're using is not ideal, right? So I'm actually just going to buy some more of these until I'm capped out. There we go. So I have six spinning gales. Trust me, guys, this is going to be useful, very useful for something coming up that I really want to show you. So now we want to head all the way back to the doctor's office where Shada is currently resting. From her dragon's poison. That's this yellow door here in the back. Very exciting, guys. 
All right. Let's go ahead and talk to the doctor and see what happens here. Did you find a dragoni plant? No. I didn't. But with this... We should be able to save her. What? 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 I thought the power cannot be released without the help from another spirit, right? Dot dot dot. What, Shayna? Dart. What is this? It's the Dragoon Spirit of the White Silver Dragon. I wonder if Shayna is a Dragoon? Otherwise, this much power wouldn't be drawn. Shayna purged the poison with her own power. It's true. Her spirit is back in her body. The poison is completely gone. Dart, what is going on? Oh, that's a lot of dragoons, my friends. I don't know if it's a coincidence or fate, but you were saved with this power, Shayna. Do you feel it? This is the power of the dragoon. I read that wrong, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. The warm power of a dragon. Not only powerful, but very tender. Uh, that might just be your dragon. My dragon is not tender. Uh, excuse me. It's too bright and I can't see. Can you do something about it? Oh, I'm sorry. My spirit. <laughs> Can you get up? See? I'm fine now. WTF. Doctor, about this, I don't know what to say. I wouldn't understand even if you told me. It's enough just seeing a miracle with my own eyes. It was worth waiting this long. <laughs> In addition, I don't need any reward. Just end the war quickly. That'll do. There is no more threat of the dragon. The rest will be taken care of by King Albert soon. I see. Hmm. You defeated that dragon. Hmm. You may win your way through to a pretty good level. Wait, not only that. You might be able to win the title of the strongest in the world. The strongest in the world? No, are you interested, huh? Well, you're just in time for the hero competition. Daredevils are coming from all over the world to compete with their brawn and brains. If you are interested, go to the arena. I'm looking forward to seeing the match. Go to the arena? Wait a minute. This sounds fun on a bun. Okay, so if we, uh, if we're gonna do this, there is some things that we need to do first, and that is to make sure that our dear friend Art Dart here has a, uh, a certain thing equipped. So let's go to Dart, and let's make sure that he has a poison guard equipped, which, uh, avoids the abnormal status poison. Let's just make sure he has that going forward, guys. We're, um, it's just gonna be useful, you know? It's just gonna be very useful for us. Okay, cool. So now that we did that, uh, we want to head all the way back down here because there's no reason to go forward. We want to go back down because we have a competition, my friends. Actually, you know what might be fun? Might be interesting to see if there's anything going on here. So remember, Dabas is all the way over here. We actually didn't find the Dragoni plant like he told us about. So I'm actually curious to see if he'll say anything else. What's so good about under and vit? Ah. Once you find something rare, you're hooked. I think I explained this already, but this is the thing that you can't actually get uh, here in the US. So you have to have a Japanese version of the game and a bunch of other Japanese stuff uh, to be able to take part in Davos Underground Adventure. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in another episode. Uh, that actually increases your inventory space. Um, unfortunately though, we don't have that here in the US. It's no longer available uh, unless you get it through other means. So if you have it, congratulations. Let me know in the chat actually, in the comments, uh, if you do have it. This is the guy that uh, that tried to swindle us on a water bottle. What a jerk. Uh, so let's head through here. Now, we got all the items last time we were here. Not only that, but... Oh, hello. Hey, hey, hold on. This is a Minotos, guys. Yo, brother, are you just playing games in the arena or participating in the hero competition, huh? Take a look at this. Believe it or not, it's a ticket with the backside front and front side back. Mm, it's rare stuff. It's unique. Totally precious. How about that? Why don't you buy it for 50G? 
What is? Uh-huh. The difference from a regular ticket. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Uh, damn, the stupid street vendor. My name is Pelpy. Thanks, brother. Bye. Okay, bye, Pelpy. I'm like 97% sure that we will never, ever speak to Pelpy ever again. Uh, ever. So we can talk to people if you so choose. They're not really going to say anything. Uh, do you know he's going on an underground adventure? What's so good about an underground adventure? Anyway, so we're going to head over here to the arena. Now, we actually could come here earlier and the, the first time that we were here, but there was nothing happening. Uh, but this time, there is. So we can talk to some people. I want to play mini games. Oh, don't worry. We will. Oh, boy. Sorry. We're not open yet. Drop by later. Okay. So you can head over here. Talk to this boy. They say they're having the hero match this year, too. Hmm. I want to I want to be a hero. So we'll just run all the way over here. I love this area. It's so cool. And we'll talk to this guy. Ginger. Hey, if any of you people out there are live fast, die young types and want to test your courage, set up and fill out the application. My advice to those of you who are feeble cowards or have cold feet, don't register. I guarantee you will die. So you'll register now? Uh, yeah, let's go. I'll participate. That's my man, and who will be participating? Of course I am. Hey, Lavitz, don't go easy on me. I'm not participating. What? I'm a knight of Basil. I am not eligible to, to participate in these kinds of competitions. That would, that would, uh, that would be against his code. I won't either. I don't like the word dude. Besides, it'll spoil the competition if I participate. I'm too good. <laughs> yeah, it's probably true, dude. Good luck. We'll be watching from up there. All right, Lavitz, my dude. Don't embarrass yourself in front of Shayna. How dare, how dare you? How? Just don't turn yourself into a dragoon. It'll create a big mess. Okay, so no dragoon in this competition, my friends. That might make it too easy. When you're ready, go to the waiting room. We'll be waiting for you. All right, Ginger. All right, Ginger. Ginger snaps over there. All right, so let's head in here. Guys, we're about to be introduced to uh, a pretty cool person. What? Oh, Jesus, say that again. Martial abilities mature along with the spirit. You have such an immature spirit. You are not a match for me. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it anymore. I'll set it up with you here now. Blah, blah. Oh. Oh. Ah, I told you so. You have to respect old people. Hashel. Hashel? Oh. Oh, it's you, Dart. You'll never change. Well, I taught him something courtesy. Uh, that's all. Hmm, you have become tougher since the last time I saw you. You too, Hashel. You look even stronger. <laughs> even if you flatter me, I won't go easy on you. I know. I missed you, man. Talking to you reminds me of our journey together. That reminds me. What happened to that black whatchamacallit? Hey, 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 hey! Gents, the time has come to decide the strongest in Endiness. Enter the arena when you're ready. All right, guys. Don't lose before our match. <laughs> Who is that? This is it. Here I come! Hastral, huh? A friend of darts. Very interesting, my friends. All right, so we can't get anything over here. There's nothing. Uh, you can't, you know, you can't go anywhere. You can't go over here. It's the first round. Are you ready? Uh, let's hold on a little bit. I just want to show that you can't really do anything. There's nothing to grab or receive or get. You can go out here and leave the waiting room area. Uh, but I don't believe there's any real reason to do that. So, you know, no real, no real reason to leave here. Uh, you can, of course, talk to Lavitz. Hey, why isn't it starting? Hey, it's not starting because you're still fooling around. Oh, sorry. Talk to Shayna. I'll be watching from here. Good luck. Why don't you go back? It'll start soon. Okay, I'll go this way, though. To show the viewers what's over here. Just in case. Just in case they want to see it. So there's a save point, which I would recommend using if you haven't used one in quite some time. 
cool so now that we're saved let's head back to uh to take part in this heroes arena championship hero hero challenge hero 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 so you only have dart for this battle so you want to make sure that he has everything that he needs equipped it's the first round so are you ready yeah let's do this yeah are you tensed up it's natural when this is your first time take it easy Dart versus Gorgaga. Gorgaga. All right, guys, we are facing the one and only Gorgaga. So all of these are going to pit us up against one challenger, a 1v1. Dart versus whoever the challenger is going to be, culminating in a final battle. So we are going to do our best here. It doesn't matter if you actually win or lose. It's my way of welcoming you. Take this. You jerk. He'll actually try to poison us right there with this poison needle attack. Unfortunately for him, you equipped a poison guard. So we won't get poisoned at all. So we can just jump in and attack Gorgaga. Oh yeah, Gorgaga. And he'll just hit us. Now again, it doesn't matter if you, uh, if you fail this, if you survive. Um, anything like that. The person that you are facing will pretty much always cheat. Oh, that was weird. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Ow! 25 damage. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit him again. With 50 damage. Oh, yeah. And he's going to use an attack item on us, but it's going to be totally totally fine this one is actually an attack magic but darts magic is actually he's pretty he can actually take that pretty well so again like i said doesn't matter he'll be disqualified for cheating if you do lose this fight you shouldn't though it's pretty simple darn you just wait and he runs away there we go dart versus gorgaga the winner darts of course you don't get anything from winning though which is like super lame I wish they would give you an item of some kind. That's okay. Yeah, look at Dart. He loves it, dude. We made it. It was a great victory over Gorgaga. Are you ready for the second round? Uh, actually, let me equip something else real quick. We don't need that poison guard anymore. Nobody else is going to poison us. So why don't we just go ahead and go into our arm tier. And let's use the, uh, hmm. Let's use the night shield just to take some, some, some significantly less damage. Now you could also, because you're not going to be worrying about SP or anything like that. Uh, you could also change your, um, addition to volcano. Doesn't really matter at this point. Of course, if you have a new one, then you want to use that. But for right now, it doesn't matter. We'll use Volcano. It's just going to do more damage. Yeah, let's go. Let's second round, baby. Are you relaxed a little, but still stiff? A deep breath. Maybe isn't necessary. Hmm, here you go. Round two, baby. Dart versus Surfius. This guy is... I love this guy's design. I don't really know why. It's kind of silly. But it look, I don't know. I like it. I like his... Wait until you see him in battle, guys. Wait until you see it. You're going to love it. His sprite is so cool. Right? I don't know. It looks cool to me. He's the only... I'm pretty sure that's a pretty unique model, too. Uh, and you notice that our, we're back at full health. You'll actually be back at full health after every single one of these. So, Surfius will try to counterattack. 83 damage over Burning Rush's... Uh, 50 on Gorgaga. Very, very, very interesting. That's pretty much all Surfius here is going to do to us, is he's just going to try to counter some attacks. Powerful, as I expected. <laughs> Fine, I'll show you my true skill. Oh, and he'll power up. He'll just do a little bit more damage now, but we shouldn't have to worry about that because we're going to defeat him with this very last volcano. Ugh, too powerful. Yeah, and we win. Of course, he takes like half damage after he powers up, but he's already in the red, 
basically, by the time he powered up. So, it's not a big deal. He will power up when he hits yellow. For the most part. But, since we're doing so much damage, we kind of skipped a phase there. Which is nice. Good for us. Alright, guys. Round two is done. I wonder if round three is going to be any harder. The answer, my friends... N no. Not, not really. Actually, this is all this is all pretty easy. Let's go ahead and uh, and talk to him. Actually, I want to see something. Your chances are very good because you defeated the famous Surfius. Are you ready for the third round? Um, can you hold on a little? I'm just curious what my friends are thinking. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's go see what my friends think. What do you think, Lavitz? It's a top-notch match. I don't know how far you can go in this match. Wow, rude. Please don't be injured. I'm not. Go back. The match can't move forward when you're fooling around here. Yeah, there's no real reason to come back. You're not going to get any items or anything. I just figured that uh, they have some unique dialogue that you can see uh, in between matches. But most of the dialogue isn't anything compelling. There's no story or anything. There's no character development there. It's mostly just like, hey, these guys are really good from Lavitz, Shayna worrying about you, and Rose being like, can you, can you go now, please? You know? That's pretty much it. Yeah, let's go, dude. You've warmed up, haven't you? Give it your best shot for your friends upstairs. Come on, let's begin. I think this attendant is starting to like us. I don't blame him. We're pretty good. Dart versus Danton. Round three. This, my friends, is the reason why I said to get the spinning gale. This guy takes, like, no physical damage whatsoever. And just, it's so long to beat him. So what we're going to do is we are going to use magic, which is, for whatever reason, allowed in this fight. You can, in fact, use... Uh, Magic items? I don't know. Listen, uh, listen. But that is one of the reasons why we picked up so much spinning gales. We have six of them total. So let's go ahead and use this on Danton, who is an earth element. Uh, so that means that wind is going to do uh, significantly more damage to him. So we're going to see if we can get some stuff in here and be able to push it to about 162. 147 damage out of dart. That's some good stuff. Look at how slow he is. Also love his design as well. It reminds me of Warhammer, actually. I love how he just jumps back. You know how strong he must be to have to jump backwards like that? We already got him to the yellow, which is which is which is pretty crazy. One ninety two, guys. One ninety two, a hundred and seventy four damage to Dan. It cannot be. And we already won. That's the power of using Spinning Gale on Danton. It's just a way to make the fight go a little bit faster. Just because you're at, obviously, like I said, you're at no risk of dying. If you lose, you lose. You, it just moves on. The person gets disqualified every single time. It come to find out that they're cheating. Uh, so you'll just keep moving on. But, you know, I don't want to show you a loss. One, that would take forever. And two, uh, I'm too good for that. <laughs> I'm too good. All right, guys. Round four. Next is the semifinals. Your match is with last year's champion's victim. Last year's champion's victim, Atlo. Even though he lost, he's pretty strong. Semifinals, baby. Let's go. Yeah. The only thing I can say now is it's a game of chance. Good luck. A game of chance, huh? To see who the best. That Okay, sure. Dart versus Atlo. La round four, baby. Round four. Let's see what we got here. This one is actually pretty cool. So Atlo here is a archer uh, who will use a very set uh, set amount of attack. So he's going to target us. I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm sorry. It's showtime. Uh, so he'll actually shoot us in set orders. So he'll always shoot in the knee first, and then he'll shoot us elsewhere, and then uh, you'll see. So he shoots us twice in a row right off the bat. He's going to shoot our knee, and then he's going to shoot us right in the inner thigh, which hurts. And we're just going to attack him with a good old-fashioned volcano and make sure that he doesn't block it. Perfect. 104 damage out of that volcano. Next. So he's going to shoot us again. This is his third target. He's going to hit us right in the chest there. So eventually he's going to shoot us in the head. And after that, you're going to want to guard. 
another 104 damage looking pretty good he will also heal himself which is fine for 79 damage are you kidding uh so we'll just lay back into him he's not going to be able to heal more than we can do damage wise uh so this is probably going to push him down into the red next so now this time he's going to target i believe our head yep and on the next one he's going to do a lot of damage here's the finisher the secret technique the five five cents blocker this is super cool i love this attack unfortunately we weren't able to guard against it uh but we were able to uh so you'll actually see that he inflicted us with um uh the fear um but don't worry about it it's not a big deal he's in red so we'll just go and finish him off now if you guarded against that you won't actually be afflicted by the status effect whatsoever um you could of course also equip yourself so that you don't get hit by it what a monster nobody should be able to get up after that but like i said it doesn't matter by the time he uses it he's pretty much defeated and no matter what he will he will get disqualified and it's for using uh poison on his arrows in case you were wondering for his reason why he loses all right guys that means that we are officially in the finals of the heroes tournament here in lohan the arena Let's see what ends up happening we'll probably end up going against hashel our fry up oh, look at who it is Hey, Hastral, at last we can meet in the final match. Well, the world is still to be explored. <laughs> oh. No, did you lose? He was a tremendous swordsmaster. I think his name was Lloyd or something. Think of him as a test for yourself and just do it. Oh, that's the guy we saw earlier. Hmm. Speak of the devil. My name is Dart. We'll meet in the final match. Let's have a good one. Indeed. I dedicate this match to what fate has in store for us. What? Here is the gong to determine the strongest. No time for holding back anymore. The crowd is on the edge of their seats. All right, Ginger Snaps. It comes from the heart, after all. Okay. Let's defeat... The Master Swordsman himself, Lloyd, the Platinum-Haired Master Swordsman. I now am one of your fans. Your way of fighting, sword use, defense, talking, everything is fabulous. Now the finals are next, come on. Yeah. I knew it would happen. I'm not going to stop you. For your friends, claim the title and come back here. All right, dude, let's go. Let's defeat Lloyd, the Master Swordsman. Dart versus Lloyd, the final match of the Lohan Arena. We are going to whip this guy into shape. Just you watch, guys. Just you watch. Let's go, big guy. With the amount of damage Volcano... Look at his stance. He is so cool, dude. Oh. 32 damage. That's nothing, my guy. Watch what I could do. Ready? Huh. What? Over here. What? What? Ow. Wait. What? Over here. It's too fast. I can't read the moves. What? What is this? This, my friends, is a unwinnable battle. Lloyd is just too good for us. I love the voice acting here. Wow. What swordsmanship? It's humanly impossible. Humanly impossible. We missed again. Over here. Damn, turn-based combat. I can't dodge anything. No! God, you're so fast! It's pathetic and out of the question. Hmm. hmm. Lloyd is so cool, man. What a cool looking guy, dude. And so strong, so mighty, so formidable. 96 damage, guys. Let's lay, come on, let me hit him once. No, whatever, dude. 
Now, you could also guard against him every single fight or every single time he attacks, if you so choose. Which is fine if that's what you want to do. Uh, no matter what, you're going to lose this fight. It's about time. What's in his throat? Oh, no! Oh, dart, dude. That was cool. No matter what, my friends, you will always lose against Lloyd. Here are the results of the annual NNS Hero competition. The victor is the platinum haired swordsman, Lloyd, the toughest and strongest man in all of NNS. Second is Dart, the young flame. That's what she said. Third place goes to Hatchel, the master of the rogue art. Good for him, dude. Good for him. Hmm. Who is that Lloyd guy? So strong. I wonder if we'll see him again. I was totally defeated. You haven't reached your limits. You will be stronger. You will have to be. You too. You'll become stronger. You flatter me. Come out quickly. Everybody is waiting for you, Dart. In particular, Shayna. <laughs> uh, I watched your match with Dart. I would love to have a match with you if this were a time of peace. Sorry, but you are no match for me. Uh, it's hard to take, but it must be true. Someday, if we meet, please accept my challenge. I'll be stronger, too. I'll think about it. Wow, what a cool guy. It's not only you, Lavitz, who needs more discipline. I couldn't keep up with him either. Me neither. <laughs> uh, you must be Master Rash Hashel of the Rogue School. I didn't introduce you to everybody yet. Why don't we go outside? I want you to meet my friends. Interesting. The lone wolf dart has friends. <laughs> Let me see your friends. Let me see these so-called friends. <laughs> dart has fret. I feel that, dude. I feel that. All right. So why don't we head out? Uh, let's head to the save point real quick now that we finish the tournament. Let's save. And now, my friends, we are in the, what I like to call the calm before the storm portion of the Legend of Dragoon. This always happens, right? You are playing an RPG, and then there's this moment where it's kind of some downtime. And, like, the characters are having fun, and it's, you know... Uh-oh. That's all I have to say. Dart, congratulations on second place. Hey, yeah, thank you. Where's my parade? Uh, thanks. I wish I could have won first prize for you. It's okay, Dart. You looked very cool. Besides, just having you safe is enough for me. Oh, this person. Okay, that's rude. You only watched Dart, didn't you? Oh, well. <laughs> ah, don't worry, it's universal. Girls in love are blind. It's not that. You haven't changed, Tashel. He's never serious, except when he's fighting. Well, it's not... It's true, but the goal of my journey is a serious one. I am looking for my daughter who ran away. It was around four years ago. We met when I was on my quest pursuing the black monster. Black monster. Hmm. The Tootsie over there is your friend too? <laughs> Don't Tootsie me. My name is Rose. Okay, won't do that again. Well, which one is Dark Sweetheart? What, what are you talking about? Besides, I told you about Shayna many times. So that means Shayna? <laughs> Did you? So you still think of her as your baby sister? Stop that. This is embarrassing. This is also really awkward. Someone please save it. Hey, Dart. Here's the plan. Why don't you go around the arena just with Shayna? Then I can go out with Rose. <laughs> Come on, Rose. Le what? Yeah, it's just a little, like, a joke. We're gonna date. Ow! Why do I have to go with you? Just pretending, really. Dart, it's a good chance. Can we do it? Shall we go? Uh... 
I didn't mean you, Master Hashel. Oh, yeah? It seems Dart cannot make up his mind, so I thought I could go and uh, make up for it. Make it up. Make make it. What? Uh, what? And we get three tickets. No, these tickets are how we get the mini games. Now, I, here's the thing, guys. These are like some of the only mini games in the entire game. I guess we haven't had any time to relax, shall we? And there are some pretty cool things that you can actually do here with these mini games. They're pretty basic, but they could be fun. I really wish that there was a racing one, as you can see on that like track above us. There's not. So we can't talk to Lavitz. He's just going to tell us that we need to play stuff. But the first thing that I want to go over is this ticket vendor girl right here. Hello, may I help you? Yes, you can actually buy some tickets here. You can buy one for 15. Uh, you can buy five for uh, fifth, uh, 60 and 10 for 100 so obviously buying 10 is a better deal you save about 10 gold there uh but we're not going to buy any of those the big thing with these tickets that you can win from various mini games and i'll show you actually the fastest way to win them is you can exchange them for some real items and these items do sell for a pretty good amount of money a spirit potion which costs 20 tickets will sell for about 200 gold a total vanishing which costs 40 tickets will sell for 400 gold and a healing rain which costs 60 tickets will sell for about 600 gold so this is a very easy way to get a lot of money it takes a while you don't get any experience you don't level up your additions but it is the fastest way to get money on disc one once you get to disc two you'll be getting a lot more money from random encounters uh so it's not worth it but here on disc one that is the fastest way so i want to throw i want to go through and just show you guys real quick some of these mini games uh no promises of how good i'll be at any of these i'm not going to practice them or like max them out or anything uh, you can't really get anything special from these. They're not a big deal, um, but I'll just go over and show you guys what they actually do. So the Monster Conquest Game Stand. Throw the balls and conquer monsters. One ticket will make you a warrior. I have no prizes, but line up and play anyway. Sure. Why don't we try this one? Why don't we waste a ticket on you, my guy? You got it. Defeat monsters. Okay. Sounds good to me, my dude. Sounds good to me. So this one is a pretty easy. We are going to have some balls that we can throw at these uh, little monkey dudes, and they will actually throw these gray balls back at us. So you hit X and you can actually do this. Now you have to be careful because, oh, they can actually throw those. And if they hit you, that's it, you're done. Uh, so you wanna get as many points as possible without actually getting hit. The thing is, these little panels that you see, you can actually knock down, but the little monkeys will actually rebuild them as we just saw and also hit us. That's fine, whatever, dude. Uh, so we got 46 points again it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how many points you get on this fight no matter what uh you will not receive anything from doing it you'll just get points that's all there's nothing about this no completion nothing uh no items which is lame you were really into it i was so close to avoiding the last attack like not even dude nobody could do that yes i can normally i should be able to do it what what stopped you this time dart what do you want to do next? Mm, anything you want, Dart. I'm happy just to be alone with you. Besides, it's been a while since I've been in this kind of place. Haven't you, like, never left Sali- Whatever. Let's go look for another place then. Okay, so right next to us is a one that I'm horrible at, and that is who is the man game. Step up. You want to take a shot at finding the man? One ticket per game. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is one of those, like, ball in a cup ones, you know, where they, where they put it in under a hat and then you got to find the identical twin and this one is i think it's pretty tough so let's go ahead let's try this you win if you can cleverly guess under which man's hat the very pink the very rare the very pink rare birdie is hiding so he's going to pick the uh the guy on the left here the bird and he's always gonna go on that oh no he went on the right well prove me wrong and then we have to uh we have to follow it uh which i believe i did i'm probably gonna be wrong because i'm always wrong on this one it's hard. It's hard. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the left. Oh my God, not even close, Corey, not even close. That's okay, we lost. If you win though, you do get a ticket, just one. So with a net gain of one ticket. I feel dizzy. It's my kind of game, it's like a battle. You never know, <laughs> you never know. You just throw your sword at somebody and hope you win. Same dart, same, that's how I win battles. All right, and for the best and easiest one in the entire place, that is what's wrong with this scene. We can go and talk to this person. Would you like to play what's wrong with the scene? You can play one game per ticket. You can actually win three tickets from this, meaning you get a net gain of two. This, my friends, is the fastest way to get money in disc one. 
eventually you will be able to do this no problemo watch this room very carefully now this room will always start the exact same way so as long as you know what you're looking for you will be able to complete this in about 30 seconds which means uh you will go ahead and get two tickets every 30 seconds you can do the math and figure out how long until you can afford one of those expensive items this is not how i get gold in this game just throwing it out there it is not for me three places have changed can you find where they are uh carefully choose where you think they are all right pretty easy so uh, luckily for me i remember the starting screen very easy because i've done this so many times so over here was actually a piece of armor uh right here was actually a like a wagon wheel and up here was a dragon's head here are your tickets for the prize thank you so much that's so oh you're so kind to me we'll get three tickets for that guys we're so good we're so we're so good it was hard i don't like these kinds uh but they're the easiest dart am i the only one that likes those so anyways that is where a lot of people say that you should uh, farm up some gold and just keep doing that over and over get those items and then sell them i actually think there's a better thing and we'll be doing that very very soon let's talk to rose because she's just hanging out i'm busy now okay can we go down here right now so we can go down into where the arena was and our friend the attendant is here this year's hero competition is over don't enter until the next match uh okay what do you so like you don't want me to enter until next year i'll be back i got second place dude anyways we have one more game that we can look at and it's probably the hardest game it requires the most skill and uh well you'll see yeah, I am the second place winner. What's up? So let's go and talk to this uh, man. What? What? One ticket per game. One to Okay, let's give it a shot. Who am I to judge? Uh, let's give it a shot. This is a obstacle dodging course. An obstacle course. Reach the goal before the top left count hits 400. There will be something good waiting for you if you reach the goal quickly. Move with the direction key and duck with the X button to avoid obstacles. Ready? Woo! There we go. Oh no, we lost! Ah, you're pathetic! <laughs> so it's a pretty small obstacle. You really only have the two sides to do. Um, I struggle with this one pretty darn hard. Let's see if I can actually complete it. Well, first, let's see what Shayna has to say about me getting hit by those darn obstacles. Didn't you hurt yourself? I'm fine. I have my armor. Okay, cool. Why don't we try one more? Want to dodge things? Yeah, let's give it a shot. What? This game's cheating. Whatever, dude. So that, that obstacle course is also pretty broken. The the boxes are actually bigger than they appear, the hit boxes. So it's actually very, very difficult to do that fight. And again, there's no real reason to do that. One thing that I do want to talk about, uh, if we actually go back to the... Just, just to help you guys out a little bit, if you are looking to use... Uh, this to farm gold to to farm tickets and stuff the what's what's wrong with the scene thing if you go over here uh and you play this which we will there is like i said the beginning the the beginning room is always 100 percent the same so i want to i want to talk about that real quick if you look at it right now the double bladed axe that's on there if that changes at all it'll turn into a sword the wheel will turn into a painting the blue flowers on the shelf will turn into red flowers. The green dragon head will turn into a white griffin head. The pillows on the, the couch there will turn into a bed. The broom will turn into a shovel. The boxing gloves will turn into a shield, which it did right now. The logs in the fireplace will be empty. The giant mushrooms on the side there will become like books. The suit of plate armor will become leather armor. So we can look at this pretty quickly and see exactly which ones that we need to change just by knowing that those those are the same ones that change every single time, right? So we know these flowers are supposed to be blue. This is supposed to be a dragon's head. And this right over here is supposed to be uh, boxing gloves. And you won. Here are your tickets. Yeah. Yeah. 
then we get three more tickets really that's only a net gain of two so we only have three tickets now but that is it for all of the mini games that you can do over here in lohan to leave the area to be done you need to come back and talk to mr lavitz over here so why don't we why don't we go talk to lavitz and see what's going on here are you okay with that yeah i'm good i got enough i'm sick of her dude had some fun yes thank you lavitz do you think Shayna talks to Lavitz about Dart? I think so. Now, we got to get back to Bale. Otherwise, we'll be late with our report to King Albert. <laughs> Even though we took a little break to, you know. Dart, come this way. Uh-oh. Did you do something about it? I didn't do anything anything you didn't even take her hand Shayna is not a baby anymore i don't need to go hand in hand not like that dart oh my god you disaster of a man dart are you getting what i'm talking about i don't think he is i guess but Shayna's like a baby sister to me i can't change that i don't think Shayna thinks that way when the war ends, I got to go on my journey again, pursuing the black monster. And I don't want her to be involved in that. Dart, revenge doesn't solve anything. I learned that from the death of Grem, the guy who betrayed my father, the guy who defected to the Sandora, the guy I hated. The person you should be looking for is not from your past, right? You should pay attention to the present. I'll accept a couple of drinks for this advice. When the war ends, let's have a drink and bail. Hey, hey wait! Lavitz. That was some that was some pretty dope advice though. You hear that, viewers? Don't look at the past, my friends. Look at the present. Because it's a present. From the present. You know what I mean? Anyways, we have Shayna, Lavitz, and Rose here. Uh, of course, we can't change Dart out. Um, we're going to keep uh, Shayna in for now. She is a little underleveled. Everybody else is level 13. We haven't had her in our party for a super long time. So why don't we uh, why don't we hang out with Shayna for a little bit here? And my friends, you are done here. Now, you can go back. You are not done, done, done 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 in lohan if you don't want to be you could of course come over here and be like yo what's up throw the balls conquer monsters one ticket makes you a warrior you can do this if you want uh there's no real point i'm gonna keep my one ticket for funsies uh yeah i just wanted to point out that you could come and do this it, you didn't need to do all of that uh, right then and there you could come back and do it uh but we are done here in lohan so i think it is time that we leave and head over to bale to report to King ba uh King Bale, King Albert. Just a, just a little bit. I think that's a good idea for us. So why don't we head over there? Yo! Music shift. Oh, what the? What the heck? Uh, you, you were a knight of Basil. What has happened? Sir Lavitz, I'm glad. At least I won't die in vain. What's going on? Sandoras surprised us with an attack. His Majesty Albert is in a captivity. What? The King Elena. King Albert, I'm coming now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Lavitz. Pull yourself together. Let me go. I gotta go. King Albert. Whoa! Oh, ow! Sorry about that. Uh, Ash, what the f- What? What'd you do that for? I'm... King Albert! You idiot! When knights lose self-control, their lord cannot be saved. Only you can save King Albert now. Hmm? 
While you were sleeping, I went to get a feel for the situation. Bale is under occupation, so I don't think the remaining knights can do anything. But what about King Albert? He offered himself up as a captive so that the people in Basil could be safe. Just because I defeated a dragon, why was I all whooped up? Excuse me? Why were you all what? There is no time for procrastination. Hmm? There is no choice. We must venture forth to Helena. We are taking the king back, aren't we? We still have time. If you're going to go, make up your mind quickly. Yeah, that's right. We are still here. But how about you, Master Hashel? I've gone too far. I might as well just go to... What about your daughter? Don't mind me. I have already been looking for her for 20 years. Going with you for a little while won't make any difference. Master Hashel, I cannot thank you enough. Don't worry about it. But can you call me just Hashel? Master Hashel makes me feel uneasy. That includes you too, Shaynan. <laughs> okay, Hashel. It feels good to be called by my first name by a young girl. Now, as soon as we are ready, let's head for Helena. Helena Handbasket. I made that joke already, guys, in like episode one or two. I'll have lots of things to do. We literally will never see this guy again. <laughs> Unless you come and visit him. He has no story whatsoever. I just want to point that out because I think it's funny that he's like, it's like this throwaway line. It's like, I'll have lots to do. How is Shayna doing? She's fine, dude. She's fine. There's just, there's just no, that, that's it. That's, it's over. He's got nothing. Now, before we actually leave Lohan, I do recommend that you stock up on items, anything that you need. In fact, what I would do is go grind out 10,000 golds if you're pretty close to it, which I was, and I ended up going off screen. You didn't see this part. I ended up picking up something that I think you guys are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you got it. I got the legend cask for 10,000 gold on disc one right away. That is so, or level 13 guys. And I have the best helmet in the entire game. Uh, this is something that will be for, I'll be getting three more of these. Every single person is going to have this equipped. It is the best thing you can get. Look at that magic damage. Look at that. Over 130. It adds over 130 magic defense. That is absurd, guys. It makes almost every magic user in this game just be able to do nothing to you, which is super, super important. For a lot of the late boss fights, not really the early ones. In fact, it's going to make a little bit of the early ones a little too easy. So I don't think I'm going to use it. But anyways, I just wanted to point out that I had that. Now, there's some other things that I want to point out. But I'm going to save it until the next episode. Because I think this is a wonderful opportunity to just leave Lohan and uh, and get ready. And, and, and prepare yourselves a little bit for what is coming. Because, like I said, this episode was the calm before the storm. After this, it is all storm all day long, baby doll. So you'll notice that we now have a path to the, to the south, and that is where we're going to go uh, to head back to hell. Lena prison thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh if you like the video you can go and support this channel over on patreon.com slash missile online for just a dollar a month you can get early access to videos or even better you can come hang out with me on stream at twitch.tv slash missile online uh, i would love to see you guys thank you so much for hanging out and remember never give up never surrender to the heroes competition in all of those mini games see ya